Okay. Hi, everyone. How's everyone doing? Good? Okay, cool. Uh, I'm Jeff Grossman, and I want to tell you about what we've been doing in 3091 related to uh, what I call goodie bags. I'll tell you why they're called that, which are also hands-on uh, chemistry experiments uh, that the students can do uh, uh, to complement the lecture uh, course. Um, the, just for those of you who don't know about 3091, it's, um, it's a GIR. Uh, the thesis of 3091 is that the electronic structure of the atom holds the key uh, to many things, uh, almost everything you need in life. Um, and, and that if we talk about that and learn those fundamentals through the, through the lens of chemistry, and then we apply those to solids, then we can go all the way up th uh, uh, back and forth through the property structure, processing, and performance uh, uh, axes of engineering all the way to societal impact. So that's kind of the, uh, the structure of the class. Um, there are some uh, really cool features about this class that, of course, I won't tell you all about. But one I do want to mention um, is a Why This Matters moment. This has been an absolutely uh, a critical piece of, of each lecture that I give. I protect this uh, with all my heart. Uh, and it is where I spend four or five minutes of every lecture to tell them why what they just learned has relevance. And, and the students really like that. But that's not why I'm here uh, today. I'm here today to tell you about another thing we do, and those are the goodie bags. And I took this class over in uh, 2015, so I've taught it three times. And when I took it over, um, I really wanted to have some sort of hands-on component. This is, of course, or not of course, for those of you who don't know, this is a lecture-based class. Um, there is no requirement uh, for a lab component to this class at MIT. Um, but I didn't want that to stop us from having some sort of ability to touch and feel the chemistry that, uh, that the students are learning. So um, when you think about sort of do you have a lecture or a lab, well, uh, both are, of course, really, really important for learning. Um, the question is, could we do something that's, that's in between? Could we complement a lecture without having to go all the way to the lab? And um, it, the reason this, this word stuck with me is that there was, this was three and a half years ago now, so my daughter was six years old. She had been to something like four birthday parties in two weeks, and we had four bags in the hallway um, that she brought home from each of these birthday parties, and these are called goodie bags. <laughs> and they're filled with usually like really, really terrible cheap toys. <laughs> usually Disney characters are involved or really awful candy. And so my question was, could we do something maybe better with the goodie bag? Um, could we actually put some chemistry into them and some hands-on uh, uh, experience for the students? Um, you know, uh, labs are really great. They, they are challenging to implement. This is an almost 400 student class. Um, uh, they're time consuming, expensive. You need a lot of space um, and, and personnel. The goodie bags, the idea is that these would be just take home mini experiments that the students could each get individually uh, that would allow them to complement the learning that they're doing with some hands on component. And it would also allow them to keep on exploring, right? That's part of what I wanted to do is open up their minds and, and let them sort of keep on thinking about the material because they had something related to it. And I'll give you an example of that. Um, so I'll, I'll give you a couple of examples of the goodie bags. Um, and sort of then I'll, I'll tell you sort of how we connect it to the learning. The first one is, uh, is basically what we're talking about in the class, which is how uh, the early chemists, how they discovered one element, how they differentiated one element from another, right? I mean, basically, what people were doing is they were smashing things, burning things, mixing things, breaking things, and seeing how far they could push them into their indivisible, uh, in, in, you know, the, the atoms, right? The elements that they couldn't be divided anymore. And, and they were discovering things. They were discovering things like metals and classifying them and using reactions to do that. So I give them a bag and I give them some vinegar and a ruler because they got me to measure things and weigh things. And I asked them to, to tell me how they could distinguish between these five different strips. One of them looks different, um, but the other four look pretty much the same. And of course, the vinegar is going to react and so forth. One of my favorite aspects of this one is when I got a picture of, of a team of students dropping vinegar on various metal looking uh, items in the infinite corridor. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say that if upper management is, is listening. But anyway, it didn't smell like vinegar for that long. Um, this is the second goodie bag. We're talking about electronic transitions. We're using the Bohr model. We're learning about this. So, so why not let them see these transitions? Why not let them understand when a transition happens or when it doesn't by actually seeing it uh, directly? These are pictures that are included in their goodie bags. And so we give them a spectrometer. Um, uh, and, and we give them some LEDs, and we ask them to look at these different light sources and, and write down what they measure and, and talk about it. Now, 
how is this not just sort of a side thing? Well, the first year we did this, it, it kind of was. And then we, we, we took stock and we realized what we really needed to do was, ha, huh, two minutes, was integrate it much more closely with the material. And so we, we realized, OK, we're gonna, we, we were giving sheets out that had problems. right? So each goodie bag has a sheet, a problem sheet. It's like a part of their homework. But then what we did in the second year is we connected it to something that they're assessed on, which is their quizzes. That's something they get graded on. And so you can see here, they have to bring the spectrometer to the quiz, and we give them a different LED at the quiz. right? And we ask them questions about that. Right? Then they have to look up at the ceiling and you know, if you look at fluorescent lights, you see right away through your spectrometer why they're so horrible, right? Because there's huge gaps in the spectrum. And we ask them questions like that, right? So they have to bring these things to class. In crystallography, we had them pre-build crystal structures and bring a pre-built one to class that allowed us to ask questions, right, that were difficult to, to see if you didn't have a 3D model in front of you, right? So we're really trying to bring this stuff to life. Uh, here's one on defects that I, I just love. Um, I don't have much time. This is the one, I'll show you this last one. On, uh, when we get to reactions and dissolution, I'm, I, I talk a lot about ocean chemistry and about uh, uh, calcium carbonate and what's happening in the shells. So that, let's just give them some ocean chemistry, give them uh, uh, some shells, and actually have them measure things. So I gave, we, we found really cheap scales. Uh, we give them some basically what is uh, vinegar or some kind of very cheap uh, uh, acid um, th that they can mix. And then, and then the thing that I want to tell you is I gave this goodie bag out right before Thanksgiving break. And all these students were really excited to share this with their families. So they get onto planes with bags of white powder <laughs> and scales. <laughs> so, that was a learning experience. Why did they choose 3091? This is already getting, I say, why do you choose this class? We want to know, right? What's, what, how can we make this better? Well, goodie bags are really starting to come up over and over again uh, as one of the reasons. And I just love this one. Link to engineering, parentheses, and goodie bags, of course, <laughs> right? Um, so if you want to learn more, uh, we have, this is an old display case, but we, we're going to have a display case with all the goodie bags out there from this past fall. And these three people who have been absolutely instrumental in developing these and helping to make them a better and better experience. Jerome and Jimena are TAs, and Laura is the course administrator. Thank you very much.